This is Jupiter Today for the 17th of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 30 minutes, 57.7 seconds, and a declination of positive 15 degrees, 39 minutes, 58 seconds. The angular separation from the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 156.264 degrees, and that's 1.129 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, and that's the angle between the Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, is 4.262 degrees, getting ever smaller, and that's 0.191 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The distance continues to get shorter too as we approach opposition on February 6th. Distance today is 659,785,566 kilometers, and that's 953,944 kilometers closer than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity of 39,747.67 kilometers per hour the two planets coming towards one another and that velocity is slowing down by an by a still ever increasing rate and today that velocity slowed down by 1773.91 kilometers per hour the central meridian at zero hours UTC CM1 65.26 degrees, CM2 238.66 degrees, CM3 141.67 degrees. So at zero hours, EO begins the day in quadrant 2 heading west. Europa is also in quadrant 2 heading west, and from Earth's point of view you can see there fairly close to one another in this line of sight. Ganymede starts the day in quadrant one heading east, but it's pretty near its eastern elongation. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant one, slowly heading east. By six hours UTC, Io has now transited Jupiter, and Europa is in the process of still transiting. Ganymede is now very near its eastern elongation. And by 12 hours UTC, Io is in quadrant 3, heading west, near its western elongation. Europa is still in quadrant 2, heading west, or quadrant 3, heading west. By 1800 hours, Io is in quadrant 4 heading east, and by 0 hours UTC, Io is still in quadrant 4 heading east, near going behind Jupiter from our line of sight. Okay, and there were 9 Jupiter satellite events today. I'll keep this graphic up so you can sort of see what's happening when I read off the times. 2.42 UTC, the shadow of Io ingresses. At 3.12, Io begins its transit of Jupiter. At 3.52, the shadow of Europa ingresses. At 4.53 UTC, Europa begins its transit of Jupiter. At 5 hours UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. 5.29, the transit of EO ends. 6.47 UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. 7.47 UTC, the transit of Europa ends. And all the way towards the end of the day at 23.57 UTC, EO disappears into the shadow of Jupiter. So between 4.53 and 4 5 hours UTC, both Io and Europa and their shadows are on the face of Jupiter, and from 453 to 529, both Io and Europa 
are transiting Jupiter at the same time. And there are four satellite mutual events today, and that's the most mutual events that we've had since the 28th of December 2014. And again, I'll show the Earth point of view. I realize these are a little dark. I'm still working on that a little bit. But as you can see, hopefully see, this point right in the center is the location of Jupiter at the zenith point at the time of the mutual event. And this first mutual event goes from 9.52 to 10.17 and it's when Ganymede eclipses Callisto. This is a 24.4 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.194 magnitudes. It's a nice distance away from Jupiter, Callisto that is, at 276.66 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Ganymede and Callisto are 35.81 arc seconds apart. The next mutual event, oh, and as you can see from the Earth view here, most of North America will see this, some in South America will see this, and folks over in Hawaii will also see this. The next event takes place at 1419 and goes to 1424 UTC when Ganymede passes in front of Callisto. This is a 5.6 minute event. It's a very shallow grazing event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0 0.003 magnitudes. It is 308.91 arc seconds from Jupiter. And if you're in Australia you may be able to see this. Otherwise you have to pretty much be in the middle of the Pacific Ocean to see this one. And that goes for the next one as well, which happens just a few minutes later at 1431 to 1441, and that's when Europa eclipses Io. This is a 10.1 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0 0.304. And the last satellite mutual event today also takes place pretty much over the Pacific Ocean, sort of the, maybe the Western Pacific Ocean, visible from Eastern Asia and some of Australia. And that takes place from 1528 to 1537 when Europa occults Io. It's an 8.2 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.268. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. We're standing on the equator of Jupiter and looking out to the stars. And this is what we'll see over the next 24 hours. Jupiter's rotation is pretty fast. It goes around once on its axis about every 10 hours. So we see the sun a couple of times a day this way. It's fun watching some of the minor moons zipping around Jupiter and moving into its shadow and popping back out. And you can also see the four big Galilean moons as well. Earth is more or less hidden in the glare of the sun. There was some new radio data taken on the 16th of January at the UT time shown here. And there were no new papers. So please subscribe. And 
tell everybody you know about this podcast that I'm doing daily and would like to hear your comments and suggestions and questions so you can send all of those and your images to the email shown and until tomorrow I bid you peace